Here is the latest version of the Blender editing software on my Chromebook. Hence, this suggests that a Blender can also work for you. So kindly follow through this tutorial carefully to get Blender working on your Chromebook. Kindly take 5 seconds off and smash that like, subscribe and bell button. And thank you guys so much because that helps me out a ton. And don't forget to come join my Discord down in the description if you happen to face any problems while trying to install Blender on your Chromebook. Go down in the description and copy these codes. Now we need to improve the performance of our Chromebook. So go ahead and copy the first Chrome flag and go ahead to your browser and click on it. Now paste it and hit enter. Now once you see Crostini GPU support hit default and click on enabled. Now once you're done with this, go back to the Chrome flag section in the description and copy the second Chrome flag. Now go back to your browser and paste it in then hit enter. Now once you see schedule configuration, hit default and go down to enable hyper. Now once you're done with these two steps, go ahead and restart your Chromebook and your Chromebook should automatically perform better. Now we need to get the Linux terminal so hit search and type in settings. Now once this loads up, go ahead and click on advanced, go down and click on developers and go ahead and turn on Linux development environment. Now once you're in this space, go ahead and hit next and then change your name and your gigabyte to whatever you feel comfortable with and hit install. Now once this is done, you should have your Linux terminal ready. Now just a quick word about Honeygain. If you're looking to make some extra money online without having to spend hours on tedious activities, you can just install Honeygain and earn money by sharing your own internet connection. Just go down in the description and use my link to get $5 to start with. Now go ahead and copy the first code, paste it in the terminal and let it run. Once it's done running, copy the second code to extract the Blender file. Now once that is also done, copy the third code and paste that in the terminal to open the Blender file itself. Now once Blender opens, quit out of it quickly and copy the fourth code. Paste it in the terminal to let it update itself. Now go ahead and copy the fifth code, paste it to install menu library and copy the sixth code to open it up. Now once it's opened up, you can see many categories here. You can go ahead and click on any one to place Blender under that sector. Hit plus and then hit the add launcher. Now once you're in this interface, click on the folder sign beside the command text. Now once you're there, hit home and double click on Blender. Now we'll double click on the Blender file again. And now once this is done, go ahead and click on new launcher and change the name to Blender. Now once you've changed your name to Blender, go ahead and save it in the top left bar. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and open Blender on your Chromebook. Now, once it opens up, you'd have Blender as an app on your Chromebook for as long as you want. So if you guys enjoyed this video, kindly make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button because it helps me out a ton. And make sure to come join my Discord down in the description if you had any problems installing Blender on your Chromebook. I would have no problem helping you face to face. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out boys.